Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great Sunday. I just um, want to say something before I get started. We lost my father-in-law yesterday and um, I, I just want to, you know, just to pay my respects to him. And um, I had this planned already and had it all, all ready to go and I didn't do it yesterday. But I did want to go ahead and get it finished today. So um, I, I just wanted to get that and and, and say that. Um, so it is Snap Expressions um, Decor by Kayla. And my YouTube channel is Snap Expressions by Crafty Kayla. And my Etsy shop is Snap Expressions Decor, all one word. And um, if you're looking for some of the work I've done, you can find it on my Etsy shop. So today, my inspiration piece is the camper. Okay. And it just says welcome. It doesn't, it, some of them say happy camper, but this one does not. And I thought about, you know, which wreath I wanted to make. Um, and it is getting closer and closer to um, spring and summer and people will be thinking about camping if they haven't already during spring break. So a lot of people would want um, this on, you know, to display it in, on their camper. So um, I'm gonna do this camper wreath. I'm gonna set this aside. Um, as always, I have my deco mesh and I have my wire form, which I've already started. Um, so it wouldn't take us so long. This is just the same base that I always do. So if you want uh, to see that part, just go back and rewatch it on my uh, YouTube channel or on in the group, either one. I'll post this on YouTube also when I get through. So um, I use the green Chanel sticks uh, because um, I'm going to be using a lot of green today. Um, I'm also going to be using this ribbon. And you never know when I'll mix it up, but I've got this ribbon and some yellow, which I thought I'll have to get another spool of roll of this one because it's almost gone. And I've already cut my ribbons. I cut my ribbons. Um, they are at 12 inches, okay? So I have uh, four different types and I have my glue gun and my scissors and my wire cutters. And I think after that, we're ready to go. I don't know if I have enough cut uh, uh, to do everything, so we have to stop and cut some more. But um, I did want to, to try to get this done today. So I thought you could join me uh, Sunday afternoon when everybody's relaxing, got home from church. Um, yeah, so we're going to get this done. Okay, so... Uh, I have a little bit of leftover mesh, and sometimes I, get, I have a whole box of leftover mesh, and so sometimes I'm like, how can I use my mesh? And so today we're going to be using some um, mesh, and I just, just kind of work it in in different areas. So I'm going to set you down just a little bit so we can get started, okay? All right, I know you don't really want to see me. You want to see what I'm doing, okay? So you get to see my hands anyway, and part of me. Um, so I'm just gonna set this to the side. There are 18 different Chanel sticks, and like I said, these are 10 inch poofs. So we just, you know, pull it and um, measure, and then put them together on the wire form, okay? And it, it's a 14 inch form. So um, I've got my green cut, I've got my pink cut, and like I said, this was my inspiration. So if you look at the green and you look at the pink, you can kind of tell. Now I had some leftover yellow, so I've got a few of those cut and I have some leftover blue. So um, I'm probably gonna be just working them in randomly, okay? So I'm gonna use pink and green for sure. I'm just gonna set this over. And I've got some greenery. If I decide to do some greenery in the end, that adds a little dimension. Okay, so here we go. I cut these at 20 inches, okay? So I'm just gonna pull one out. 
Y'all know um, you can use your little clips that um, these are just the, the little clips that come from the Dollar Tree. If you don't have any, these are great for chip clips or anything, but I use a lot of them for my wreaths. All right, I cleaned my craft room today, y'all, and it is glorious. It doesn't stay clean very often, but it is clean. Okay, so I'm just going to do the woodland ruffle, which is you set it out like this, okay, and you're going to roll it. We're going to do a lot of these, so we're going to roll, roll like three times, pinch it in the middle, try to get right in the middle. If you have one of these mats, um, they are really good to have because um, you can cut on them and use your rotary cutter or, or whatever. And they also have the measure on there. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three. And we're going to just find that center right here and just take your fingers and just get it all ruffled up. That's why it's called the woodland ruffle. Okay, so we're just going to keep it going and we get it right here. All right, well, it came undone. Okay, let's do that again. I hope this is not going to be how the, how it goes today. All right, so here we go. We're going to get that. Well, let's roll this again. It's okay. We can do that. All right, one, two, three. Hello, Murphy boy. Here's my baby. Look here. Watch your toe. Move your toe. Come here. Come see my baby. Y'all. See my baby. This is who barks. Barks, barks, barks when I do my video. And he loves his mommy, don't you? Okay. All right. I can't hold him because he does weigh a little bit uh, more than he should. So, anyway. Okay, we're just going to roll this up here. Yay, I got a Sonic, y'all. Look at this. Hey, can you take this one? Special service. Hey, can you take this one? Oh, yeah. All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now I have the green. Let's do a pink. Okay. We're going to roll it up. One, two, three. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, how am I going to use the extra yellow and blue? Okay, we'll find out. One, two, three. This is ten and a half inch mesh, and it's cut twenty inches long. Okay, so we're going to take the pink and the green together. Just hold it right in the middle. And we're going to start on the outside. Just lay this right down, and. Take your little snail sticks and get it squished, just squished, scrunched as much as possible because we're going to use these Chanel sticks for the ribbon, okay? And just get the ruffles like you want them, okay? Fluff it out. Um, look how thin all of this is. You see how thin it is? And you can see the, the wreath form in here. It's tan, okay? Um, but you can see it. Now, I want you to watch as it just kind of fades away as we're working on this, okay? Um, usually I have some of these done up, but uh, like I said, um, our father-in-law passed away, or my father-in-law passed away, and um, I kind of had to quit doing, and so I didn't get it all the pre-work done. Okay, one, two, three. But I did need to get this done today, so sometimes this curls up on you. Just get your little paper weight and just put it on there, okay? He was 91, so um, he had been in the hospital, and he just he just gave up. And we we knew that it wouldn't it would be just a matter of time because he just refused to eat and refused to drink. So, he was just ready to go, y'all. All right. There you go. One, two, three. Clip. Another one. One, two, three. Go. 
Okay, you notice as I'm doing this, I'm keeping the edges tucked in as much as possible because this is considered value mesh. And a lot of times the value mesh, you know, will um, kind of... What's wrong with me today? I'm not holding up things. The value mesh will tend to um, fray, I guess is the word. Okay. If you mess up, just keep on going. It's not going to hurt anything because the wreath is going to be pretty big. Okay. All right. This is the green and the pink. This is considered apple green. Um, and I think maybe fuchsia on the color. Um, I had someone ask me, is Betty on here today? I had someone ask me to do a wreath kit for them. Y'all, if y'all want a wreath kit done and you want it, um, something special, let me know. I can get um, stuff from my wholesaler and um, I can fix you a wreath kit. If you're wanting one for um, Patriotic, I have probably four or five. One, two, three. I have probably four or five ready to go. And you see how this is fraying on the end? Well, um, I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is just stop right here and cut it. I don't, I don't like it to fray. That's why this mat is so important to have, y'all. If you just are doing wreaths like that, okay? I think this was an end piece. That's why it was spraying like that. But just, just use your rotary cutter and cut it to where it's got a straight edge. That way it's not going to ravel. Okay. One, two, three. All right. How's everybody doing? One, two, three. See how that's kind of... See how that's kind of on the edge like that? I don't like that either. So I don't want the wreath that I make. I really, if I make a wreath, I want it to be um, good quality. So I always, you know, take the measures that I need to, to make sure they're not raveling. Okay. So we are working with 18 Chanel stems. And so we're going to do this 18 times, and this is one and a third, okay? So try to keep the pink and the green in line like you started. So if you start with the pink on the left, continue that up because you don't want two, um, two together, okay? And then fluff it out. You've got the white. You're working it into the white. It's already starting to be pretty, y'all, okay? Now, I've still got to work in some yellow and some blues, okay? Let's see. Here we go. One, two, three. And you can make your uh, roll as tight as you want it, okay? Or you can make it as loose as you want it. One, two, three. Um, like I was saying, I do have patriotic uh, ribbon and deco mesh if you're interested in a wreath kit um, all you have to do y'all is ask me and I can mail it out to you and I, all these videos that I'm doing you can just substitute your deco mesh that you buy and you will you can use this as a reference this type of uh, this video or any of my videos I do them all the same mostly if you go back and you look on my page, I did a pancake wreath, and I had been telling y'all that I'm going to do a pancake wreath. A pancake wreath probably don't mean anything to y'all, but what it is, it's just like it, it sounds. Um, if you're wanting something that's not so full and big, because I make my wreaths really big and really full, if you're wanting something smaller it still looks really good y'all um but i make them flatter 
instead of big, okay? That's why it's called pancakery, if I can make them flatter. And that way, if you want it to go between your door and your storm door, it'll fit better. I put mine on the outside of my storm door because, one, two, three, because, you know, it, it, it does get squished. There's some fraying, you know. It does get squished if you put it between your door and your storm door. So, I just put mine on the outside. It's, it's, it's good in the weather for the most part. Okay, just get it ruffled underneath there as much as you can. One, two, three. Um, for the most part, they are um, waterproof. Or I should say water resistant. They're not really waterproof. Um, but I have a porch, so it, they're, they're out of the, out of the elements for the most part, unless it's blowing. So you can put it on your outside storm door, is what I'm trying to say, instead of on your door, if you buy a big wreath. I don't know, do y'all prefer, let me ask you a question. Do you prefer um, grapevine wreaths or do you prefer the deco mesh wreath? Hi, Kylie. Glad you're joining me today, Kylie. Hope you're having a good Sunday. All right, just fluff that out. And if you see the fraying, there's some fraying, just stop, give it a little snip. And I think y'all saw me do this before, but if it starts to get a little too much, I just give it a little melt. Um, some people use wood burner tools to cut the mesh as they're going. Um, you can do that. I don't have one. I need to get one. One, two, three. That kind of seals the edges, you know, and you just take it and you just run it across the mesh just like you would your rotary cut. One, one, two, three. I personally just go through with my little butane lighter and I I, I call it sear the edges together. Okay. One, two, three. Clip. Turn. One, two, three. Gather. Gather it right up. Holly, you like the grapevine wreath? I think I like the grapevine wreath too. I like the deco mesh because you start off with just nothing, nothing, literally just a wire form, and you end up with this big, pretty, um, colorful wreath. So um, I'm kind of partial to the grapevine wreaths too, but I still like to see the creations that you make whenever you're making the deco mesh wreath. Okay. That one come unroll a little bit. Just roll it. Use your finger. Just roll it right back up. You're not going to be able to see it in the end. Okay. All right. Um, I'll have to show y'all some of my wreaths that um, I made. I'm pretty proud of them. Sometimes I know y'all don't always get a chance to join in. And sometimes when I'm doing grapevine reef, I don't do a video. I just post them. I think I probably need to do a grapevine video. One, two, three. Together. 
Okay. Pink. All right, this one is the end of a row, so you can tell it's the end of a row, but it still works. One, two, three. All right, we're going to have to make this one go, so we're just going to fold it over because it was at the end of the row and go one, two, three, and then just gather it up. Some people just throw it away. Um, I don't like to waste it, so I use it, and it works out for me even though it is the end. Okay, let's find this one. Looks like we're about halfway around here. All right, get it, lay it down, grab your Chanel stems, okay, get it as tight as you can get it, and just twist. And remember, we're going to reuse these Chanel stems, so just keep them sticking up if you can, okay, and fluff this right out. Okay, you notice that we use the green Chanel stems, and you notice that you can see them on the white, but whenever you turn it around here, to see what I've done, they just kind of start fading away, okay? We like one, two, three, I think I think we like four on the outside, and then we'll be, there's just six on the inside, so we're moving right along, y'all, okay? All right, here we go. 20 inches long, one, two, three, and 10 and a half inches wide is how they come on a roll. Um, the white, one, two, the white was ten and a half inches also, and I used one row, which was plenty for the white. So you could use one white, um, one pink, and one green for this wreath, okay? One, two, three. I'm um, using four rows of ribbon, but they don't, you don't use all the row. One, two, three. Okay. Just use your fingers, walk your fingers to the other side, pinch it in the middle, grab the green one. Okay. All right. Lay it down just like you would. All the way around, use your pink to the left and your green to the right, or whichever color you're using, just stay consistent, okay? All right. Go. Roll it out. All right. I could have get me a drink of this Sonic, y'all. What is your drink of choice from the Sonic? Mine is a Diet Coke with vanilla. One, two, three. I noticed that this green is not quite as good as the pink that I'm using. It frays a little bit more. But just keep your edges cut. One, two, three. Gather. Um, I buy my deco mesh at different places. Depends on who has them on sale. So you never know. Sometimes it's deco mesh is not the same from every place. Okay, one, two, three. I always have you a little paperweight. I made me a little heart. One, two, three. Gather, pinch. All right, you see this wreath is starting to be big. Okay, separate your Chanel stems, lay it down, pinch it down as tight as you can get it. Okay, pull, twist. All right. I, don't, I have to show you the grapevine wreath I made. It, it would be perfect for Easter, but also um, it would work for year-round. Okay. One, two, three. All right, I'm just going to cut that off. Can you see that little edge right there? Just cut it off. Okay. 
One, two, three. Walk your fingers right down the middle. Pinch it up. Gather it right there. Looks like I'm going to have to cut some more green, y'all. Okay, but that's okay. We're going to get the outside done. Okay. Some of these seem longer. One, two, three. One more for good, good measure. Okay. Same thing here. Just a little bit of fray, fraying. I don't like fraying. If, if you buy a wreath from me, I'm going to trim it. One, two, three. Gather. Okay. And right down the center. Okay. Pink first. Green on the right. Right. Lay it. Pull your twist tie. Have y'all ever, I know, um, I got, I get my wire forms from the Dollar Tree to make these with, but y'all, they do not have any. They have not had any in a while, so I tried to order some from the Dollar Tree. You can order your stuff from the Dollar Tree. Usually you have to order things in multiples. Um, I, I don't mind. One, two, three. Three. I don't mind because, um, you know, I use so many, but they're out online too. So, um, one, two, three, gather. Um, there is a problem in the wreath world right now. They are having a shortage of work forms. Um, we call them work forms. They're, they're wreath forms. You're having a shortage, y'all. I know we're going to have to cut this one. Okay, one, two, three. And when there's a shortage, there's a problem because all of us wreath makers, we have to have work forms for our wreaths. One little corner didn't make it through. Okay, y'all, here we go. Grow one two, three. Cut, trim, gather. Okay. Pink first, green second. Notice how it's growing, y'all. Growing, growing. We like one more on the outside. Okay. Oh. Pull it tight and twist. All right, then ruffle. This is the woodland ruffle method that I'm doing right now. The woodland ruffle method, okay? All right. This is the last green I have cut. Let's go. One, two, three. Trim it. Turn it. Look how this is kind of raveled on the ends. We don't like that, do we? We do not like that. Cut it. Get rid of it. All right. One, two, three. Gather. All right. And now we have pink. I have a lot of pink. We're going to incorporate some of this blue and yellow now, y'all. This leftover mesh that I have. One, two, three. Um, I told you, uh, if you wasn't here in the beginning, uh, I said I have some leftover mesh. And I like to use it up when I can. So if we're using it, cut that off. Okay. One, two, three gather um if we have it left over i like to somehow incorporate it without having to sit there and look at the rows that are not being used they're halfway used up okay pink first green we're going to get the whole outside is done now 
we like the inside, which are six of them. Okay, if you're wondering how many more, there's six more to go. But we did the whole outside. Now, on the inside, I've got some pink cut and i got some blue cut. So, I'm going to just use pink and blue on the inside instead of pink and green to use that leftover mesh, okay? One, two, three. Turn. Turn or twist. Okay? One, two, three. Gather. Move that out of the way. All right. Now we're going to use some blue. Now I've got one done up. Just one. We're going to use this in the middle. Okay? We use pink and green on the outside. We're using pink and blue on the inside. Okay? Let's just see how we like this. I think once we get this going... I think that it'll be good. Y'all, that blue, I don't I don't like how I put the blue on there. I'm going to undo it. So whenever you're putting that on there, try to get your ruffles up. That one was down. I don't like it down. I like my ruffles up. So I'm just going to undo that just a little bit, y'all. Okay. And I'm going to push it down as hard as I can to get all that Chanel stick twisting back up. All right, now that works better because your ruffles are facing up. And that's what you kind of want. You want your ruffles to face up, okay? Well, y'all see how big this is getting? All right, see? This, this has just a little bit of blue in it right here. All right, so... That's why I'm using the blue. Alright, see. I may see how many pink I have left, okay? One, two, three. This was a whole roll of pink, y'all. And it was a whole roll of green. One, two, three. I take it back. It was two leftover rolls of green because we're using leftover mesh. I'm showing you how to use your leftover mesh. Okay. Use blue. Okay. Sometimes it wants to fight with you. One, two, three rolls. Turn. Same thing. Okay. One, two, three. Get your Get all your your edges all rolled in if you can. Try not to get them out, okay? All right. Let's see. Pink and blue on the inside. Okay. Got to be careful how you put it. Don't get two colors right next to each other. Keep them separated. When you're going around the circle, if you start off with the pink and blue, then continue to use pink and then blue, okay? All right, we got plenty of Chanel stems left to put the ribbon on with. If this fluff this right out, y'all, as you're going, cut these off. If you have stuff sticking up, stop and cut them off. You don't want a whole bunch at the end, okay? All right. See, that's not, that's not looking bad, using the blue and the pink with the green and the pink, okay? Okay, I have one, two, one. How many did pink do I have, y'all? Did y'all count with me? One, two. All right, I'm going to use um, a yellow just to incorporate that yellow, okay? This is leftover mesh. One, two, three. Because there's yellow in the sun. There's a lot of yellow in the sun, okay? One, two, three. Okay. Let's see. Do we want to use pink and yellow or pink and blue? Let's use a pink and blue. 
I mean a yellow and blue. Whoop, got pink on my brain, y'all. Okay. One, two, three. Turn. Right. Let's see, Betty. Almost missed me. I know. I didn't know whether I was going to do one today or not, y'all. One, two, three. I just kind of had to wait and see how things were going. Um, but I had everything ready, so I'm going to just go ahead and do it, okay? All right. So now, yellow and blue. Okay. Just make sure you don't skip one. Because when you get to this point, it looks like you're, it's so full you can't tell where all your Chanel stems are, okay? That's why I like to leave my Chanel stems sticking straight up, all right? So yellow and blue, okay? Okay, now that I use yellow and blue on this side, I don't want it to look awkward, so I'm going to go opposite side. And I'm going to use yellow and blue on the opposite side, okay? That way, it's not going to look um, awkward. One, two, three, since I'm using the leftover mesh, okay? One, two, three. Gather. This one's really curly. It must have been close to the end of the row. Okay, I think I cut a lot too many. That's okay. One, two, three. Turn. Ready? One, two, three. And for those of you joining me late, um, over in my other group, I think it is, um, if I get this right, y'all. Okay, I'm going to do blue and yellow. Um, over in my business page group that I've been telling y'all that I want to, I want y'all to migrate over to my business page because that's how Facebook wants me to do it. Um, it's snap expressions by snap expressions, Reese and more. I think it is snap expressions, Reese and more, but over on that, I did a pancake wreath and a pancake wreath y'all for those of you just joining me. A pancake wreath is a lot flatter than these wreaths. And it, it's because you want to fit it between your storm door and your door. Okay, see how I'm working that yellow in right here? Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to the pink and blue now. Okay. One, two, three. And that's why they call it the pancake wreath is because it's flat as a pancake. And it's really not that flat, but it's... You want it to be, if you're putting a wreath between your door and you're wanting to buy a wreath, you need to find a wreath that is about six to seven inches so it's not squished between the two doors. So if you're buying and you're looking for the dimensions, two, three, look for wreaths that are six to seven inches, one, two, three. A lot of these that I make are anywhere from eight to nine inches, and um, they're big, but we like it that way. Everything's bigger in Texas, right? Okay, I got the pink first. I'm going to turn it around. All right, let's see. Make sure I'm not missing one. All right, we have two left, y'all. This one and one more, all right? Okay, pull that Chanel stem up. This is where you fight things at. You just pull it, twist it, twist it, and then ruffle it up. Find your ruffles, ruffle them up. Okay, have one more, and then we'll do some of the ribbon. Okay, one, two, three. I got a new uh, bow maker. Um, I'm gonna trim this off, y'all. Got a new bow maker. It's it's the generic of the the Pro Bow. I think it's called Pro Bow. One, two, three. And I'm gonna have to practice on making them. 
because it's a lot different than making making them on the the what are they called? What is this called? The Easy Bow Maker. That's what it's called. It's a lot different than making it on the Easy Bow Maker. One, two, three. I think it's just all in what you get used to, but I'm going to have to do a demonstration for y'all. One, two, three. How to make bows with a Pro Bow Maker. I'll show it to you as soon as I get through this. I'll show you one. Okay. Blue. Oh, well, he's got it backwards. Pink and blue. Okay. Oh, there's a little end sticking up. Let's trim that off. Okay. All right. Here we go. Last one on here. Lay it down. It's hard to do this as you get towards the end. Y'all, I don't know if y'all, if you really truly have done a wreath, if you have arthritis in your hands, you know, sometimes that hurts your, your hands pretty bad. All right, so now just go back through. Let's pull up these Chanel stems straight up because we have ribbons now to put on. Pull them up. You notice how um, you can barely see the white base that we started with. So, Betty, we started with a white base. I know you probably missed it, but, um, and we had 18 Chanel stems all together on a 14-inch work form, okay? All right, I'm just going to pull those out. I think I got them all pulled out. All right, looky here, y'all. All right. And you see the yellow where I incorporated the yellow? One here, one here. It's really close to the green. This uh, apple green is really light, so you really can't tell it very much. And when we get the bow in here and we get the sign in here, it'll just all blend together. Okay, now let's look at this. Here is our ribbon. Okay. Nine of each. 12 inches long. I used the, the ribbon board. This, this is called ribbon hoarder. I used, and it's 12, this was 12 inches long. You get these if you're making a lot of wreaths. You need to get you some of these. Their measurements like a ruler. And you can just roll your ribbon right up. Okay. So let's clear this out over here. Give us some room. I had some blue left over. We're just going to set it to the side. Okay. And we're going to start putting these on. Okay. How do we want to do it? Which ones do we want to put together? Do we want to put the green and the yellow together? And the striped and the pink together? Always, it's always like, how do I want to do this? These two, these two, these two. I like these two together, I think. And then when the green and yellow. And the green and yellow will help bring in the yellow, okay? Put, oh, thanks, Betty. Betty bought a wreath kit. She put the check in the mail. Thanks a lot, Betty. I appreciate it. I'll get that right to you. All right, so here we go. We're going to do green and yellow. And I don't I don't know which one to do put on top. So I'm going to put the yellow on top. You know, fold it together. All right, pinch it up. Twist it down like this, like a V shape. Like a V shape. All right, we're just going to run that on the outside all the way around. Okay. I just, um, I do it this way. Um, I've done it several different ways. All right. So just run your finger underneath it. Can you see like this right here? Run your fingers underneath it to make it just kind of curl down. Separate them apart a little bit. 
and you'll go do this many times when you're making your wreaths. You'll just go through. Um, I'm not for sure like the Chanel stems. Um, I have some of this. Uh, Holly, can't think of what it's called. Mesh tubing. Mesh tubing, okay? And this kind of makes it a little bit more playful. So I'm not sure if I have enough all the way around. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on as we're going, okay? I just made a little bow, and I'm going to put it right on top of this right here. And y'all notice the green Chanel stems are just about invisible. You just really can't see what color. All right, and I'm going to trim as I go, tri trimming the Chanel stems, throwing them in the trash, and just take that. It's really pointy. So take it and just push it down. All right. So now you see how it looks. Got the, with the mesh tubing on there. All right. And then just ruffle that back out. Okay. So I used the green and the yellow. Now we're going to use the stripe and the pink. Now let's put that stripe on top. Since we put the green on the bottom first, the green's going to go on the top now. And just take it, make a V shape. I'm going to lay it down. Try to do it where y'all can see it. Okay, twist. And I have some pink. Uh, I think I have some pink tubing somewhere. I have pink. Here we go. I'm just going to open up a new package. All right. Whenever all you start making this wreath, you need, a, I start off with this table and it's all cleaned off and I have lots and lots of room. And as I go making my wreath, y'all, it just gets smaller. The table gets smaller and smaller. All right. So we're going to take this, make a bow out of it. And I use this little um, bow, mini bodabra. Um, it's to make bows with, but I use it to hold my stuff in place. I, you can make bows with it. It's what it's for, but uh, there again, you just, it's all these different ways to make bows. The Deluxe Bow Maker, the Pro Bow, the Bow Dabra. I don't know if y'all have ever used those before. Okay, and just pull these out. Run your finger under it underneath it. Get it a good curl. Okay, and see how that looks. Okay. And you can do these. These are 12 inches, so if you want them longer, you can do them 13 inches. Probably wouldn't do them any longer than 13 inches. Some people do them 14 inches. I guess if your wreath is a lot bigger, maybe. This is going to be so pretty on somebody's camper. Um, let's see. Yellow. Yellow. And put it in there to hold. Put it right on top. Twist it. Okay. Twist it. All right, let's cut. You don't have to cut that Chanel stick off. At this point, it's pretty and green. You could leave it. It would blend right in with everything. But I'm cutting it off just because I put the, jute, the rope on there. All right, see, it's starting to fray a little bit. We're going to have to get the gonna have to get this a hold of it okay so sometimes after after I finish my wreath I go do this okay all right now we're gonna do the stripe and we'll make a bow when we get through here y'all so stick with me to make the bow all right make it a V Lay it on there. Okay, twist it, twist it. 
about two, sometimes three. Okay. And now we're putting the pink on this one. This just makes it a little bit more playful. You don't have to do this row, this little stuff, but it's so cute. And like I said, I don't know um, if you're joining me, Betty. This is what we're working with. It's the little camper that says welcome. Isn't it cute? It's so cute, y'all. All right, so let's trim that. And that's perfect for somebody going camping. You know, lots and lots of people live in their travel trailer nowadays. So, you know, people might want one for their door or their, um, their front of their camper. You could put it on the tongue of your camper, you know. We go camping. We do that sometimes. Put stuff out on the tongue of the camper. Who knows? I might take this on my own camper. All right. Just twist it. Give it a couple of twists. And you're through with that. Except for the yellow. Jute rope. Okay. Sometimes my... Uh, uh, my bows get bigger. I have to be careful not to make them dispro disproportionate. Okay. Twist it off. Bring your finger up. This uh, ribbon um, is really called, it's, a, it's really called really great ribbon. Really great ribbon. So it's very good, good quality ribbon. Okay, fluff your stuff back up. Whoop, I got two of those. Can y'all still see? Okay, here we go. Find the middle, fold it, and just same thing we did with our mesh. Just run your little fingers and make a little fan. That's what you're doing, making a little fan. Okay. Put it down, twist it, twist it, pink. So usually I use, I go back at the very last and put these on. But today I've just decided I would do it as I go. Um, I even do it sometimes after I turn my live off. So y'all, if you watch my live videos, and um, I usually go back and add stuff to my wreaths after the live videos because I go back and I look at it and I'm thinking, well, it could have been like this or it could have been like that. So go back and check the pictures and see what I've added and the final result. Okay. That one is a little twisted, so I'm going to pull it down like that. Open it up. Get your finger running. I don't know why. I guess because I'm trying to let y'all see it, it's kind of upside down. Okay, there you go. And then fluff it back up. Okay. Sometimes I think I've skipped one, so I have to go back and check. And sometimes I have skipped one. All right. Half it. There we go. Make it a V. And lay it in the middle. All right, let's see. Here we go. Let's see. Betty, I can't wait for you to get your stuff and make the make a your wreath. Is this the first time you've made a wreath, Betty? Yellow. Is it going to be your first time to make a deco mesh wreath? Okay. Twist it. My fingers are not... I feel like the telephone book. You remember that commercial? Uh, 
that had the let your fingers do the walking. You remember that commercial? <laughs> um, sometimes I feel like my fingers are trying to do the walking and they're not walking very good. Okay, here's some green. Let's get that out of there. Okay. All right. Stripe and the pink. Next. All right. Let's find it. Can y'all see still? All right. Lay it down. Twist. Twist. And pink. Pink mesh tubing. People call it rope. Mesh rope. They call it a lot of different things. You can buy this at the Dollar Tree. Um, or you can get it at different places online, okay? If you're wanting to buy some stuff, um, I can give you a, like if you're wanting to buy some of the mesh or the, the, oh gosh, what am I trying to say? My brain's not working right now. The mesh, if you want to buy the deco mesh, I can give you a, a link in the comments. If you just tell me you want to buy some deco mesh, I can give you that in the comments where to get it. Okay, twist, twist, curl, curl, uh, yellow. I get confused over what's next. I'll count how many we have, y'all, to go. So y'all will know what, how many we have. All right. Just cut that and roll that under. Take your fingers and roll it. Separate it. Like I said, I'll go back and do this after I finish. Okay. And y'all see where, how it's looking so far? Isn't that pretty? Okay. Let's see. We like one, two, three. I think we have three on the outside. Okay. And sometimes you have to watch me because I get these ribbons all messed up and put one on top for one and one on t the bottom for another. But it's all right. There's no rules on how you have to do it. Everybody can show you how to do it. And then you just, you do it your way. I'm, on, I'm really good on these commercials. I did the let your fingers do the walking. And now I'm saying have it your way. Isn't that McDonald's? Have it your way. Oh, well. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow, I get my second COVID shot. I don't know if y'all have gotten a shot yet, but my first shot I got, it was a Moderna shot, and uh, I started running a fever. It was just as though I had the coronavirus. I mean, it, it was all of the symptoms of the coronavirus, y'all. So, I'm really, really scared to get the second shot, but I'm going to get it anyway, and just hope and pray for the best, okay? So, if you haven't gotten it yet, maybe you should get the Pfizer, I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm not trying to give you medical advice for... Uh, no reason, just preference on what I took and how I felt. Okay, all right, there you go. Roll it out with your fingers, and we knock one more on the outside, and then we'll work on the inside, and then we'll do a bow and put the sign on, and we'll be done. Okay, all right. Here we go, make it a V. Turn it around so you can see. 
that Chanel stem, twist, twist, and pink, pink bow this time. Lay it right in the center. Twist again. Twist. Twist. We get a lot of use out of these Chanel stems. And let me tell you, they don't cost very much. And we use the heck out of them when you're making wreaths. All right. See how we're back? And our ribbons are meeting. And you just want to kind of open them up like this right here. And let them get on top of each other. And that's what you'll do all the way around. You just open them up and you let them kind of set on top of each other. Like this. Okay. Alright, now we're going to go to the inside. There's only there's only six. And I don't, I don't think I cut enough. We'll have to cut some more. Okay. Green. Green's going on top. Scrunch it. Same thing on the center. There's only six. There was 12 on the outside. There's only six on the inside. And um, if you're doing this, I'm not going to put the rope on the inside just because the ribbon, uh, the bow will cover it up. So I'm only going to just use the ribbon. I'm not going to use the, the rope, the tubing. Okay. All right. Here. Here. And fluff it. Fluff it up. Get your let your fingers do the walking. Fluff them out. Let them set on top of the other ones. Okay. All right. Pink and stripe. All right. Scrunch it up like a V, just like this. Make a V. I'm going to try to do it backwards, like this right here. Got to get it right in the middle, though. That one didn't look. That one looked lopsided when I showed y'all. Okay, we're going on the very top. Okay, twist, twist, and cut. And like I said, you don't have to cut these Chanel stems off. They match everything you're doing, so you could leave them just like that. Green and yellow. Okay. Scrunch, scrunch, twist, B, find your Chanel stem, it's all hidden down in there. This is so bright and colorful, it would be really pretty just to use it all the way through um, summer. I am making some patriotic wreaths. So, if you have a special request, you can uh, request me to do a video one on one. Or if you just want to purchase the ones that I've been making, it's at my Etsy store. It's called Snap Expressions Decor. All one word Snap Expressions Decor. And Etsy, they just take, they take everything and just scrunch it together and that's what your store name is so it, it's the s is capitalized the e is capitalized on expressions and the d is capitalized but it's all one word okay on the top when you start getting these on the top the ones on the bottom start looking um better because it's you're adding color okay after you cut that Chanel stem, be sure you poke it down because if you don't, it'll poke somebody or poke yourself, you know, on your finger under it. Okay. Yellow and green. I guess I counted wrong. That's okay. We'll cut some real quick. Okay. Here's this. Let's see how many more we need. See how many more we like. Okay. Let's twist it. And twist it and twist it. You need a good pair of wire cutters when you're doing this, and a good pair of scissors or rotary cutters. Okay, separate those apart, and your finger under it. 
get the deco mesh back up. What you want to do is get that deco mesh and just pull it up, pull it up, pull it back out. Okay, just make it go back out. All right, let's see how many more I need. I need one more here. That looks like that's it. Okay, so I need what color am I on? I need one more yellow stripe and I'm going to have to go get it, okay? In my ribbon stash, I guess, I guess I, I must have just run out and not cut one, but y'all, this is where I'm going to show y'all um, about making, uh, using this ribbon board. It's 12 inches and that's what you use this ribbon board for. You just pull it like that right there, 12 inches. Give it a cut, and that's how you use ribbon boards, except for you're using several, so you just wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around, okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to dovetail that real fast, okay? And last one, one two, three. Last one on top. It looks like I'm missing one. Kind of looks like I'm missing one, but that's okay. Let me look when I get through here. All right. Fluff that back up because you're pushing it down, okay? Roll your fingers underneath it. Pull it out. Roll your fingers underneath it. Okay. Let's see. All here. It just looks like there should be one right there, but there's not. I guess I just need to fluff it. Just fluff it. There you go. Okay, now I've got all my ribbons on. And I'm going to fight with this deco mesh today. I'm going to have to really get this out and give it a, a searing on the ends. You know, just take it and melt it melt the ends that's all you do just take it and melt the ends all right so now we're ready for the bow i gotta get all my stuff organized over here and then we'll make the bow <laughs> all right the ribbon is in the trash on the floor i'm telling you when we make these uh, Reese, everything goes everywhere. You never know where it's going to go because you run out of room. Okay, I'm going to use the Pro Bow Maker. The Lux Easy Bow Maker. Okay. Let's see how much I have left of all these. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so now you decide what do you want on bottom. Let's try the green. Okay, and you can add stuff when you're making your bow. It doesn't have to be just the colors of your uh, that you used on your ribbon tails. All right, so I'm going to make some of the tails for my bow, eight, ten inches. I'm going to measure it. This has a, has a little measure on it. So I'm just going to put it on there like that. And then you just twist, okay? And this is the one on the bottom. So I'm going to make it about five inches, five and a half inches, okay? And I'm measuring this right here. Actually, it's right closer to six inches. Twist it and measure on each side so they'll be exactly the same. If you don't have a ruler to measure these on, just pull them up like this and measure them like that so you know 
that they're the same, okay? All right. We're going to make, we're going to see if we can get three loops out of this with what I have left on the roll, okay? If not, we'll use just two. I'm going to try to use three. Measure, okay? I have no idea what my husband's watching on the TV, y'all, but it sounds like a cackling witch. I have no idea what it is. It is crazy. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. But I hear it loud and clear. All right. So we're going to make three. Measure. Push it down in the center. Twist. Measure. All right. I'm, I'm, you know what I always forget to do? I always forget to put my Chanel stem, and I'll show you, underneath. So, all right. So I don't have to twist it on this side. I'm just going to measure my tails to make sure they're the same length. Okay, and cut. And I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to put, you can use Chanel sticks or stems. You can use floor wire. Um, there's all kinds of things that I guess that you can use, but I'm going to use floor wire. And this is 20, 26 gauge, and I'm get, giving myself a healthy portion of wire. Let me get this out of the way. And I'm, what I like to do is get it, pull it out. I didn't measure it. You just kind of eyeball it. I like to double it up like that in the center. Run this. You do this before you start your bow. I never remember, so I do this after I start my bow. Just run it right in the middle of that. And then just tuck it underneath there so it'll stay out of your way. Okay? And I'll show you why I'm, I'm doing that like that. When we get done, okay. So now I'm going to use um, the pink, and I think I'm going to do two, two on each side if I have enough. Okay. Keep that pushed down. All right. Get it down, and it's one-sided, so you have to twist it right in the middle. And you're going to make these a little bit shorter. Every time you go on different colors, you're just going to make it a little shorter, okay? I think that's Burger King. Have it your way? I don't know. I guess I don't have paying attention. I just know that they say, have it your way. And so that's a good motto for making a wreath. Just do it your way. Because everybody has different methods and ways to do it. And there's no right or wrong way. Okay. Um, bows, they take practice. I'm just telling you. They take practice. When I first started, I, you know how your memories, uh-oh. You know how your memories pop up on your phone? Well, this is going to be just about right. Um. So, I had memories pop up on my phone, and they were of some wreaths that I made, like, I don't know, maybe three years ago, and y'all, <laughs> I told my husband, I was like, look at how awful these wreaths were that I was making three years ago. So, you know, take it takes practice, 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 and you'll finally get to where you want to be with them, and you can do it. Don't let me forget, I'm going to show you my grapevine wreath that I made, okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to make this one, this one, got my tongue tied, shorter than the pink. See, it's shorter, okay? I'm not measuring I'm just using it, um, eyeballing it to make it a little shorter than the pink, okay? When you're doing this, go ahead and pull however you want your bow to be. So pull it up and pull it down. Then you got one in the middle, that's how you want it. One up, one down, one in the middle. Same thing, okay? Make sure you do them the same. One up, one 
one down, one in the middle, pink up, right in the center, okay? Put that pink right in the center between the two greens, okay? Right there. Now we got the yellow going. And I love this yellow, so I'm going to make two of those. Making them a little shorter. Okay. Keep your finger right there in the center. If you don't, it'll it'll pull up on you, okay? Alright, so get it, keep it kind of scrunched in the middle. You want it scrunched right there. Okay. Okay, cut your ribbon tail. Now we're going to use this last one. Try to get the straight pin out of it. Get it in the pin cushion. All right, so I think I'm going to use one bow like this. Pull that down. Measure your ribbon tail, okay? Get it right in the middle. Twist it and push it down. And you're making this one shorter than the yellow each time you go okay twist shorter all right so now i'm just going to use one of those and what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and cut this and then i'm going to make one um once one right in the center so, do I want to make it out of this? Do I want to make it out of that? Hey, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You watching me? Yeah, I'm watching. Okay. So, how do I want to do this? I want to go back with the yellow. I want to go back with the green. I think I'll go with the green stripe. Because the, um, it's either pink or green. You know what? Did I do with the pink? I think I ran out of the pink. You could go back and make this totally different, the one that uh, is right in the center. So I'm just going to use this green stripe just to make it a little different. So just, you're not going to make any ribbon tails with that. You're just going to cut this little piece, just like this right here. And you're going to just lay it down right in the center. It's going to be your center bow, okay? Now before you pull all of this out... Let's see where I can set all this stuff out of my way so get it out of the way so you can see everything. Before I pull all this out, I'll turn my, it's not plugged up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull these up. Go ahead and before you pull it off the bow maker, get it like you want it a little bit. Pull that up and go ahead and fluff it out a little bit. While your finger's holding it down, make, make your bow. Go ahead and pull it up and out. Spread it apart. Kind of like that. You see how it's kind of, let me see. You see how it's kind of fluffing up on that side? Okay. So do it the same way. And you don't have to put all your ribbon tails down. If you want, some of your ribbon tails can go up and across or diagonal, okay, pull it up, up, twist it, what you're doing is you're pulling that in the center, you're getting that center um, where it's squished down, you're kind of twisting it, and it's called breaking the center, okay, you're pulling it, and you've got it on your hand, okay, so now we're going to take these, this wire that I put under there in the beginning. And you know I made the loop, right? I made a loop right here. Can y'all see the loop on the wire? I'm going to pull that up and we'll run this underneath that loop. And I'm going to pull that together while it's still on the bow maker. Okay, that keeps it all in place. Keeps, go ahead and pull it up now. 
Okay, run that down underneath. Okay, get this out of the way and squish those that bow as hard as you can get it. Open it up, pull it, and it should not break, y'all. Just twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it. And I like to take my needle nose pliers. Uh, everybody don't do this, but I like to take my needle nose pliers, grab it as much as you can, and twist it with the needle nose pliers. That way it gets it really, really tight, okay? All right. Love needle nose pliers. All right, now I got my... I've got my fluff box, y'all. I made myself a fluff box. So, it's a square with an eye and an eye screw right in the center and a nail right at the top. And it's a, called a fluff box because it lets you fluff your bow. Just run your Chanel stems or your floral wire right through that eye. Okay. And then take it, pull it tight, and wrap it around that nail, okay? Wrap that wire right around that nail. And now you've got your bow right here where you can work with it, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail the ends, okay? However you like to dovetail, um, sometimes my brain is not working right so i really have to stop and think how to cut the dovetails cut them up cut them out and cut them away from you so it just all depends on how you want it now see how that one's a little longer so i like to keep all of mine just about the same length so i'm going to cut that one again a little shorter all right you see that one we have a little shorter Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Just fold it in half. Cut it away from you. Okay, this one's next. This one's next. And this one's last. So we're going to make it a little shorter. Just use your measure. There you go. All right. You don't have to do it that way, but you can see they're all different lengths, starting with the back one longer. Okay, so now we're just going to pull just like we did. Well, this is the real deal. Now we're really fluffing the bow, okay? You really want it to stand up, so get it and pull it. We've got our wire really tight because I did the loop method on the wire, Okay. Get those tails down. Pull those tails down. Okay. Get them away. Okay. Now you're yellow. See how it's standing up? Okay. You see how that's standing up? Get that finger. Get them. Pull them out like that. See how that one side's standing up now? All right. So now we're going to work on the other side. Pull it. Twist it. Break the center. Just pull it, break the center, okay? All right, pull it. Pull it, okay? Pull it. Okay, there we go. Get that pulled up. And then I... I, I uh, sometimes get squished the other side when I'm doing that. Okay, you remember the center one that we did? Here it is, right here. That little green and white stripe. I put that little center short one in. See how it covers the wire in the center? All right, I just cut off all of that as, as close as you can get it to the middle. Okay. All right. There, come on. See how that is? Okay. It's all fluffed up. 
okay all right now just undo that one if you have a fluff box if you don't you can fluff it with by your hand i'm just gonna pull that out now we're going to decide how do we want the ribbon and where do we want it we always have this dilemma do we want it in the top here here like this we want this at the top and this at the bottom which one do y'all like the best oh i like it at the bottom what do y'all think Which one? All right. All right, we're going to put the bow at the top, okay? So before we put the bow on, we're going to put the, we're going to go ahead and put the sign on. All right, so how we do the sign is, is, uh, is up to you, but I'm going to do it with uh, cable mounts, okay? So you order these, they're just called cable mounts. You order them off the internet or wherever, and they're sticky. So open it up, put a little bit of hot glue on there just to get it to stick. All right, there we go, right there. All right, we're gonna put that right there. I'm just gonna put it on the four corners. You can, sometimes you don't need four, sometimes you can just use two. All right, just put it right there. All right, and just use a little glue to get it to stick. And you can use E6000 glue. Um, this is really good glue, but it, it doesn't, um, adhere like super glue sometimes you can just use super glue this is gorilla glue i use it sometimes to put that on and i need to get four chanel stems and i've got three so let me grab another one all right it doesn't i'll just get a yellow one it doesn't have to be the same you're not going to be able to see it okay all right so we're just going to run these right here and either or Depends on how big your wreath is. You can do them this way, or you can just do it this way. And I'm going to do it this way this time. And that's because um, the wreath is so big, you're going to have to have your Chanel stem longer. Okay? Just these cable mounts, they have this, you just run it right through there. Okay? Right through there. It, it's just where you can run it right through there and pull it. And you just want to make sure your cable mounts are on really good so they don't fall off. Okay. And just run it through that little thing. You can run it either way. There's four sides to this, so you can run it either way. A lot of people um, use put super, super glue, hot glue. Y'all, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> All right. So, when I bring... I wish I could tell y'all how much my brain gets tired still. After 15 years of post-brain surgery, my brain still gets so tired. Okay, so it doesn't really matter where we put this position-wise because everything is the exact same, okay? But we're going to put the bow on the top, so we're going to position this on the bottom, okay? So just run your Chanel stem through this mesh grab it from the bag and go ahead and and put two sides the two bottom sides on and you can see as you're doing this that you could have omitted some of this ribbon tails because it's going to get hid but i never know where i'm going to put the sign so i just go ahead and put the ribbon tails on there okay and just pull that and twist it and you can redo it if you don't like where it's at but I go ahead and I go ahead and run that through there and I twist them together um, I'll show you I'm gonna turn this over um, because right here let's pull that I'm gonna turn it over and you can see where I ran these two through they're right in the center and 
I'm going to undo this one also because I didn't, I want to put it on the wreath frame. So run it underneath the wreath frame. Okay. All right. Let's see. Just run it through the, the work frame. And that way it's got something to hold to other than just a deco mesh. And when I get through with these guys, I cover the whole back. So you don't see all of this work stuff on the back. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with these up here. And I don't know if it's long enough. Okay. So it's not quite long enough. I'm going to take another Chanel stick and um, I'm just going to wire these together. Okay. Wire them together. And then just wrap it around the work form. Okay. All right, so that way it'll stay in place wherever you want it, okay? Just wrap it as tight as you can get it, and this one too. And all this will be covered up, y'all. All right, turn it over. You see? All right, let's see. All right, um, <clears throat> right here. All right, hang on, y'all. I got to do something real fast, okay? Um, I can... Sorry, y'all. Um, just wanted to go around on just a quick errand real fast. Check on my dog. All right, so just get your ribbons back. You don't want to get them all scrunched up, okay? Now we're going to put the bow on right here. Just take your wire same way. Run your wire. This is thin wire. I suggest you get a little better gauge wire than 26 gauge, maybe 22 gauge, okay? Run it all the way through. And you can put the wire through the deco mesh, just right straight through it, okay? Pull it through, position it. You can do it to the side, you can do it right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to run it right through the work form and around twice. And just get it going as quick as much as you can. Like, just twist it up as much as you can to what I'm trying to say. Twist it, twist it. Okay, now let's look. We fluffed our bow uh, before we took it off the bow maker. And we fluffed it on the fluff box, and now we're going to fluff it again on the wreath, okay? Fluff, fluff. Okay, pull it up, pull it up. Twist it, get it. Get, you got three on the bottom, three loops on the bottom, and you had two pink loops, and you're going to put them right right between the two green, okay? Put those ribbon tails down so you can see what you're doing. Put that pink right, right in the center of those two green ones. Same thing with that, fluff it up. Same thing on this side, you got two, three green and you're gonna put the pink right in the center, okay? Same thing with the yellow, get them centered. Fluff them up, fluff them up. You got that center. All right, now take your ribbon tails, each one of them, start at the back, because that's the green was first. We'll run that up, because you want this to kind of curl, okay? And then the pink was next, okay? Run it up. You want it to curl, curl under. Yellow, all right? Then the green. And if you don't... If you don't want these to get on your sign, just give them a little trim, okay? Fingers, roll it up, make it curl, make them real pretty. And if you decide you want to, you can do like I do sometimes and just take a paintbrush and roll it up on your paintbrush like, like so. 
to do these on like the top ones you can. And there you go. Now go back and get all of your ribbons that you put on around your wreath. Roll them up. And if you want to do the same thing, I like to do this. It takes a little bit of time, but I like to take my paintbrush and get the this end of your paintbrush and roll that around, okay, on each one. And look how it looks. See how it looks? And this is what we've got, y'all. I'm going to go back after I get off of here and I'm going to roll these up and make sure they're positioned. Um, one thing you want to do under your sign is just take that deco mesh that you've got, the curls, and pull those curls out. you got curls under your deco mesh, I mean under your sign. Your deco mesh curls, just pull them out. Pull that out. See that? Just pull it out. Get your sign where you want it, but get your curls out. Okay? You don't want your sign... You don't want your sign to be sunk in. You don't want your your bow to be sunk in. You want it to stand up on top of everything. All right. So hang on. I'm going to pull you up. I'm going to stand up. Here we go. You can see how big this is from me right here. Isn't that pretty? Didn't it turn out? And, you know, when I use that um, extra yellow, uh, because I was using up some deco mesh and I incorporated some yellow in here, you can't even see it, right? It just all blended in. What do y'all think? Thanks, Betty. All right. What do you think? All right, I'm going to show you. I want to show y'all, y'all. Hang tight. I'm going to show you this uh, grapevine wreath that I made, okay? This was one of the last ones that I made. Um, it says, gather. It says, for where two or three gather in my name, I am with them. Matthew 18, 22. And look how pretty that is, y'all. Can you see? See the detail? You like that? Kylie, you like it? All right, that's my grapevine wreaths. I've been making some grapevine wreaths. Now, on this wreath, um, I have some greenery. And if you wanted to go back in and put some greenery in, okay, or even some yellow, um, I don't know, it's called... Um, uh, amaranthus, amaranthus. Anyway, you can go back and you can incorporate some of this in it, and it would be really pretty. And to add some more of this greenery around, a lot of people are liking that type of stuff in it, and just do it all the way around. And I, I might do that, and I might not. It just depends. I'll have to go back and look at it and see what I think. All right, y'all. Thanks, Betty. Um, I appreciate it. Y'all remember that if you like this, um, and you would, share it with your friends and um, go back to my uh, YouTube channel, Snap Expressions by Crafty Kayla, and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out. So I appreciate y'all hanging with me today. And y'all have a wonderful week and wish me luck on my second COVID shot tomorrow that I don't get sick like I did last time. So thanks, Wendy. Wendy, thank you so much, Wendy. I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Um, I'm glad y'all like it. And remember, if y'all know anybody that wants a camper wreath, um, this is going to be in my Etsy shop, Snap Expressions Decor, all one word. Okay. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.